Have you made a decision to sell your home? If so, make sure you don't make these mistakes. Hey, I'm Adam D with The Local Connect and KW Realty. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the biggest mistakes I've seen when selling your home or deciding to sell your home over my 12 year career in selling real estate. The first biggest mistake I see is you've chosen to hire a real estate agent, which is great. But I see a lot of people choose the agent based off of their price or the listing price that the agent gives you. I'm here to tell you that the agent they are not buying your house, so they do not determine the price. The market does, and the strategies the agent uses to expose your house to multiple buyers is what's going to determine the price. So I recommend you pick the agent based off of their strategy and how they're gonna market and advertise the house rather than a number they give you. The next biggest mistake I see is pricing your home too high or building negotiation room into your asking price. I know this may sound crazy, but believe it or not, the higher you price your house, the less it's going to sell for. And the lower you price it, the more it ends up selling for. I've lost count of the number of times I've seen in my career where whether it was intentional or even a mistake, that a house was priced very low and sold for way more than it ever should have sold for because they started off at such a low price. It intentionally creates a bidding war and the buyers take over and drive the price up significantly. The opposite is true when you price too high. All of the buyers ignore the property, you get no exposure, it sits on the market for months, and then maybe later down the road you get a low ball offer from somebody. Probably not what you want as a seller. Another big mistake that we see is taking advice from somebody who is not a real estate expert. So as realtors, depending on who you hire, we're selling one plus home every single week. And the average person sells one, two, maybe three houses in their entire lifetime. But for whatever reason, we see a lot of folks when they're selling their house, they choose to get advice from a family member, a friend, a professional in a different line of work, who again, does not sell houses every day. And what happens is it causes the seller to lose confidence in their own strategy or their own decisions that they made before talking to that person. So my advice would be to be completely open and transparent with your real estate agent and follow their tried and true methods that they have used to successfully sell homes in the past, rather than taking advice from somebody who's never done this before or maybe has only done it a few times in their life. Another big mistake that we see is waiting too long. And this could mean a few different things. It could be waiting too long to list the house and missing the market. It could be putting the house on the market and waiting too long to accept an offer or trying to delay a negotiation. A big mistake that we see is you think that negotiating with a buyer, if you take too long to get back to them or you take longer to get back to them, it's gonna cause the buyer to come up in price. Well, the exact opposite happens. A lot of times the buyer gets frustrated and just leaves the negotiation and you don't have a buyer. So I'd recommend not waiting too long. In fact, in most negotiations, the more time that's introduced, the worse that it works out for you. And here's the last mistake. Have you ever seen the TV commercial with Febreze? They say that you're nose blind to your house. We see that every day. You live in your house every day and it's not your fault, but you may no longer notice the smells or the condition of the house. There may be scratches and dings and dents in places that you just haven't noticed or you forgot about. But I promise you, as soon as a buyer walks through the door, they see those things right away. So again, it could be the real estate agent, it could be somebody else, but bring in somebody who has not been in your home on a daily basis and get their honest opinion on the house. They may be able to pick out some things that stick out like a sore thumb that you never notice. And again, it's not offensive, this happens to all of us. We all do it with our own house and we all have an opinion that our house shows better, is in better condition than it really is. So don't get offended if the real estate agent gives you some tips or tricks, some suggestions to improve the house. It's only to help you sell for more money. So now you know the things not to do when selling your house or some of the biggest mistakes we've seen sellers make over the years. If you'd like some more advanced strategies on the best ways to sell your house, you can reach me at 609-604-5958. If you like the content you saw in this video today, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. It'll make sure that you're alerted on the next valuable piece of content that we put out. I'm Adam D with The Local Connect and KW Realty. We're here to help people buy and sell at the Jersey Shore.